Now, here on The Latest Show, we're all about introducing the freshest new comedians. And tonight, we have a real treat for you guys. So please make some noise and welcome to the stage my good friend, Prince Abdi! <laughs> Okay. Oh, man. Wow. Wow, wow. You guys all right? Yeah. Nice to be here, man. That's my name, Prince Abdi. I'm from Somalia originally. Woo! Thank you. Uh, I came here with my family in the 80s on a two-week holiday. <laughs> Still got another week to go. <laughs> I'm happy that we can travel again. That's one of my favorite things to do is travel. Just got back from France. Before that, I went to Australia, had a great time. France was interesting as well, because it was my first time, even though France was around the corner, it was like my first time in France. And I was in the Champs Elysees in Paris, and I saw these two rappers having a rap battle in French. It sounded amazing, just going back and forth, back and forth. I didn't know what they were saying, but I was just listening. Next to me was a French guy also watching these two rappers. So one rapper was looking at that rapper going, J'appé, le dé, je te pas les verrer, les dada jouent de merde, les dada jouent de merde, et merde, et merde. Now, I didn't understand a word, so I just asked this French guy, I was like, excuse me, what did that rapper just say? I kid you not, this French guy looked at me and went, well, as you can see, uh, he's not happy. <laughs> I was like, well, thank you for that. You're welcome, you're welcome. I went to Australia as well, got any Australians in? Love Australia, man, I had a great time. Almost got to a fight, though. My first night in Australia, I was, I was in Perth, right? I was in this coffee shop, and this really drug Aussie guy came in. As I went to grab a chair, he grabbed the chair at the same time, and he looked at me, he's like, what are you doing, mate? It's my chair. <laughs> I don't know why, I started doing his accent back. I was like, nah, mate, it's my chair. <laughs> then he was like, I was here first, mate, I was here first. And he kept saying that to me. I was here first, oh, I was here first. Oh, is anyone here? Oh, I was here first. So I panicked, I looked at him, I was like, mate, I'm an Aboriginal. <laughs> I think you find it, I was here first. <laughs> Yeah, I did not see that coming. <laughs> so I'm from South London, that's where I'm from. <laughs> I didn't realise this, I, I didn't realise. When I'm scared, I sound like a middle-class white lady. I was in Hackney recently, and, and I, I tread on some rude boy's like, like feet by accident, and I just, just tread on him, and he got mad. He was like, hey fam, are you nuts? Are you nuts? Hey fam, do you wanna die fam? Do you wanna die fam? Do you wanna die? I was like, absolutely not. <laughs> And then I confused him, I don't even know why I said this. I went, I'm going to Waitrose. <laughs> He's like, Waitrose, is that you? Yes, that you, fab. <laughs> I've got a teenage brother, I'm worried about my brother. My brother is 17, thinks he's a gangster. From South London, thinks he's a proper gangster. Like recently, my parents kicked him out. He lives with my parents, they kicked him out. This is what I'm worried about him. He's at the door like this. Yeah, fab, man, he's there all day, every day. Get me. <laughs> I was like, what are you doing here? He goes, they kicked me out, innit? I was like, who kicked you out? He goes, mum and dad, innit? <laughs> I was like, I know they kicked you up, but what happened? I kid you, he goes, it's because I'm black, innit, bruv? I swear down, I swear down. <laughs> swear down, bruv. <laughs> I was like, listen, sometimes we're gonna pull out the race card. Okay. This ain't the time. <laughs> One of my favorite places I went to, though, during my travel was India, man. I had a great time in India. We got any Indians in? <laughs> Loved India, man. Where was in India? Gujarat. Gujarat, I know Gujarat very well. I didn't go that way. I went to Mumbai. Mumbai was amazing. I had a great time. What I love about India, and I highly recommend it, apart from the food, the food is amazing, but the films, if you've never seen a Bollywood film before, I highly recommend it. Go and see one. I went to India, the best experience. I was in a cinema, a thousand Indians and me watching these films. That's, that's so unpredictable, man. I was watching this film where the husband sent off the wife, the wife was crying, trying to explain herself. Then they started singing. <laughs> I did not see that coming. As <laughs> soon as the wife comes, husband loses it. He's like, are <laughs> I then the wife starts crying, backing away, explaining herself. I did not see that coming. <laughs> then I thought the wife was gonna run away. She doesn't. She comes forward, starts singing along. <laughs> she was a nutter. She's like, <laughs> I was like, these two definitely met on a night bus. <laughs> In Reading. 
Oh, man. But I love like, Bollywood so much. The very next day, I went back to the same cinema, watched another film, different genre. I watched the gangster Bollywood film. That's right. It's my real gangster. Comes into a bar, buys pack, walks in, real attitude on his face. I'm like, that is gangster. What was crazy? One of the guys who shot dead or singing back? He was against the world bleeding. Are they in the marriage? Are they here? <laughs> man, I, I saw my brother chatting up a girl the other day, man. I was so like, when I was his age, I had no confidence like in chatting up girls. He went up to this girl. He was walking with me and he goes, hey, wait up, bruv. Let me go and chirp, sir. Let me go and chirp, sir. I was like, cool. So he went up to this girl like this. <laughs> I could hear this young girl going, please don't talk to me. Please don't talk to me. <laughs> he stood right next to her. This is how he chatted her. He went, oi. What's your name? She's like, Charlene. He goes, give me your number. She's like, I've got a boyfriend. Then he goes, well, give me his number. <laughs> this confused me. She was like, why? He goes, because I'm going to call him and tell him it's over. Because <laughs> you just got yourself a Casanova. <laughs> I was like, I am writing that down. That is. <laughs> Guys, you've been amazing. Thank you very much. I'm going out. Big up, Mark Gilligan. Peace. Show him some love, man. Yeah.